Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Um, I finished those couple of projects that I was going to send to somebody that's on YouTube. They kind of gave me my crafting mojo back, if you will. Um, and they come, kept me company when I was on bed rest, which was priceless. <laughs> so, um, cause I had not found this person's channel before. So I'm still not gonna say who it is. I'll post who it is after they get the package. So hopefully early next week. Um, I'm hoping, I'm going to ask them if they would be willing to do a video when they open it because I really, really, really want to see their reaction when they get it. So, this is a little out of the box for me. Um, I showed you guys just the Mod Podged. So again, I just want to, I have my stamp, so it has my full name. Um, it started out as wood, um, and here is my stamp. It says handmade by, and it has my name. Um... So it started as wood. I painted it this deep purple color, a couple coats. I Mod Podged um, on top of the purple, put the paper on, Mod Podged the heck out of the zebra paper, took it, stick to the letter, trimmed it down with a craft knife. And this person's really into glitter and glam and zebra and purple, as you can tell. So um, what I did, I had this um, metal butterfly charm. I used my glue gun on. I just put some bling because she really loves bling and purple. Um, and then these flowers I all did with Tattered Angels, um, the Glimmer Mists. Hopefully it's getting kind of dark here, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see. This one I just used, um, there's a purple, just a generic purple one that I used. I think it was lilac. This one's I used Faded Denim, the Lilac, and the Dazzling Diamonds. And the black one started out as a white or green flower, and I used the black beauty on it. So it's really cool. It's hard plastic. You can hear the tapping. You don't get on the other ones. So it's hard plastic. And I just used a black um, glitter rhinestone in there. Or not glitter, rhinestone in there. So that's that project. Um, and then the ribbon, and I just used my... Um, Fisker scissors with the um, not pinking I can't think of it's not pink maybe it is pinking no pinking is triangles I can't remember what they're called <laughs> oh that's so bad okay so shears dress shears um, yeah I can't remember I'll remember I'm sure when this video is editing um, anyways I used my little fancy scissors that give this cute little edge down here so this is this project and then the other project I worked on, um, actually I can show you this one first, I guess. So this one, um, I used the My Creative Time dies. Um, this is the ticket die. I used it on magnet. So I took it out of magnet first. And the magnet that I used, right here, I just got it at Walmart. Piece of magnet sheets adhesive sheets. Um, I just got some at uh, the Dollar Tree that I'm actually trying out right now to see how it cuts um, with the dies. So I can let you know how that works out. So these are the dies, the stitched fun ticket dies. So the magnet you cut out of this one right here and the you also cut the zebra paper so your pattern paper you cut so the die is down into the magnet so you get this nice um, stitched look. And then you cut the same for your zebra pattern. You can't see the stitching because I used this die on top of it, but it's there. And then you just put that on there. Just line up your corners and put it on. And then I used obviously the white out of this ticket die. And I stamped from the My Creative Time Chunky Jar Accessories. And I used I'm Crafty and You Know It. And then I just stuck some purple rhinestones on there. And there you go, you have a cute little magnet. So let me zoom out. So again, it's the Chunky Jar Accessories and the Stitched Fun Ticket Dies. There's also a stamp set that goes with the Stitched Fun Ticket Dies. Um, I didn't use it because I couldn't fit the sentiment in there, but this is it. So if you're interested in that, head over to My Creative Time. And then this one, again, I used the, a little bit, I used the Stitched Fun Ticket dies. Same thing, I just cut it out of the purple. Um, this was the purple, this was the white. And then this stamp set is from the Honeydew, let me grab it, 
Honey Dew list. So the stamp is not set up like that. It's the Honey Dew list. So you see it's one straight stamp. So you have to stamp the My and then the Crafty Ideas by just masking your stamp. The little scissors came out of this set right here, the die I actually used, and I cut it out of some purple, purple metallic paper. I just put some ribbons here and I used my special scissors that I still cannot remember the name of right now. <laughs> um, and then I just put a little um, trinket pin from Tim Holtz and on it, it says ideas. So it might be two, I don't know if it will show. I can see it through there, so hopefully you can. It says ideas and 26, so there you go. And on the inside, I used um, this set this time, and I used these two dies. This one is the back, this one is the front. So I used those two, and I used the scissors again. And it just says, I'm crafty, and you know it. So that's cute. And then I just put one of my other stamps that I have that says created by Bridget. So it's in there, but you don't see it unless you look in the back. So those are my two projects, are three, and then I also included just, I was going to use these and I didn't, um, it's from the Chunky Jar Accessories, but she really likes butterflies, so I used this die, and I just cut them out of um, the Stampin' Up! Conquered Crush, so I figured I didn't use them, but she might, so I figured I would send them on their way. So this package is going to go out, I want to finish a card and get it in there. And this will go out and hopefully you guys will be able to see um, her open it. I think that would be really super cool if she can. If she can't, it's okay. It's cool. Um, but I hope so because I really want to see her reaction when she gets the package. And I've put some other goodies in there for her too. Um, just from watching her videos that I've seen she might like. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy crafting. Thanks for stopping by.